In the Dance FM house right now is Mark of Salado. Welcome. Hello, thanks for having me. Now, first up, Mark, I just have to mention I am somewhat disappointed with your wardrobe choice today. Oh, I know. You have the most impressive shirts, but today you're just in a black one. Do you know, I was explaining this before because we didn't know we were coming here, so I've literally got two shirts with me, and one of which is covered in sweat from last gig, the last gig in Barcelona on a weekend, and the other one's clean, which we'll wear tonight, so today it's just... This is what I've got to roll with, unfortunately. But your usual style, they're very, I don't want to say a little bit flamboyant, they're next level, the prints, everything, I'm always so impressed. Yeah, they're just like old-fashioned, vintage sort of vibe shirts, which is very hard to get over here. I've been searching high and low, believe me. I know, I would be surprised to find out. That's why I wanted to know, do you have a secret tailor? No, 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 I wish <laughs> I did. They're really hard to get hold of, so basically they're just old shirts which would have been in like CNA or I don't know if people listening know what CNA is but it's an old shop back in England years ago which wasn't cool in any way shape or form where your mum and dad would buy the clothes from <laughs> yep. but now 20 years on it's sort of half cool so that's the sort of shirts you got to try and find you can only find them in vintage shops or second hand shops so they've always got a little bit of a scent yeah. retaining they on have it. got an extreme scent when you get them so you've got to stick them straight in a hot, hard hot, hot boiled wash well I'm glad you wore the new one tonight today yeah. into the studio this is a non-smelly version and Mark you guys you never stop I mean you've just landed from Barcelona and recently you performed at Electric Daisy Carnival in Mexico City how was that? That was incredible. You know, every time in South America we play, and we play there quite a bit now, It's the crowd is just unreal. And the crowds we play to is like 10, 20,000 people each time. So we was in um, Ecuador on Fri- on the Friday, then we went to Electric Daisy. I always call it EDC, but Electric <laughs> Daisy Carnival um, in Mexico City, which was incredible. You probably lose track where you are, what you're doing. Yeah, definitely. So like last weekend, like I said, we was in Barcelona. We came from Mexico... But we came from Australia to Mexico, from New Zealand and Bali and America. It's just exactly. Mental. I saw you were really recently down under. And so this was thanks to Carl Cox, you were at Babylon Festival. Yeah, we played his festival, which is near Melbourne. It's like a three-hour drive away from there. Yes, it's out in Whoop Whoop. Yeah, um, it is, yeah. <laughs> you're probably and thinking, very, where very, am I going? <laughs> it's a very scary place because if you walk anywhere off a beaten track, you're at risk of getting bitten by snakes and all sorts of horrible, disgraceful Mark. things. Mark! I'm from Australia. Everyone always has these big terrors. Somehow I've managed to live there safe and sound. But I yes, honestly you do, don't know. You have to be aware of yourself. But how does that work with Carl Cox? Does, you know, he slides into your DMs or you had a long growing relationship there? I've never, I'd honestly never met the guy before. And I'd even remixed his music before um, with Nicole Mudabar. And she, but she con- contacted us to do it. And then I'd never, ever, never met him. But when I met him, it was like a known in my life. Incredible. Hey, Carl, how's yeah. it going? I went, yeah. Cool. So, well, do you think this will be a staple? Um, yeah. Babylon Festival? Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. I reckon, like, we, we go to Australia once a year, usually, I and mean, we do a handful of um, festivals, and it'd probably be one we add to the list now. Mm, love it. So, I hear on Good Authority, Mark, that you actually have insider knowledge about the Jack Back project. I know a little bit about it, yeah. What do you want to know? Well, do you care to elaborate? What was the situation there? I believe you were quite a influential figure in that uh, yeah, it was, involvement. Yeah, it was mad. So basically, I was in um, I was in LA playing a show at the Exchange Theatre, and um, I got a call from uh, David Guetta just saying, do you want to come to the studio with me and Pharrell? And I went... And I said, no, I've got... Was this completely out of the blue? Out of the blue. I spoke to him on Instagram, and I didn't believe it was him. And then he r- rang me, and then I didn't believe... Oh, no, I did believe it is in then, but I just said, um, I've got jet lag, I can't make it, because I couldn't. And then um, he said, you're you playing in Vegas tomorrow, do you want to lift to Vegas? So I went, yeah, yeah, cool. So I met him at some, some private jet place in Hollywood, jumped on a jet with him, never met the guy before. <laughs> I love that, yeah. And I, I hadn't been to sleep for a night before either, because we'd been partying all night. And then basically, he just played me all this new music, which I didn't know it was going to be called Jack Back. He said he was making tech house music. Okay. And um, and it was all really good. I mean, then he played me the Black Coffee track that he did, and he said, do you want to remix this? So he did a, a collab with Black Coffee. Um, Incredible. And, then, and the track was amazing, so I just said, yeah, cool, I'll do a remix of it. And then I mean, it sort of went from there, and then a few weeks later, we had Ibiza. Um, he, he lived near us in Ibiza when we were living over there in the summer. And he said, do you want to come? I mean, he, he contacted me, he said, I want to come to High with you which is our, where we play each week. Okay. Um, and then I said to him, yeah, cool, we can jump in with us. And it, as in to say, jump in our in our lift down there, our driver. And then he said, yeah. He thought I said, jump on. And I went, yeah, cool. He said, I'll come and play some records with you. I went, yeah, cool. So oh, he came down and so we was played, that played the very, very first debut 
of Jack Back. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. did he, was he adopting that alias at that point? I don't know if he'd come up with a name as yet by then, but he was playing Sick House and then in Amsterdam, he, he, he was launched it properly in Amsterdam at ADE. And um, we played with him down there. And that was his first Jack Black gig. I oh, I just love the cheekiness around it. You know, Kiwi are really locked, tight-lipped about it, who it is, what it is. Yeah. And you were in the know the whole time. I was in the know. <laughs> I'm going to keep track of you. Um, question, did he, did Jack Back, of course, David Guetta, did he sign up to your label? Well actually, well, actually, he did sign a track to our label recently, but then we couldn't clear the sample on it. So um, we're now, t- we will be releasing other music on Solar. But um, the track he gave us had a, a Destiny's Child sample in which we couldn't. Oh, okay. Play. And okay. we had to, we had to get resang, and it just seemed a bit of a pain in the ass. So, so maybe in the future. We, we, definitely in the future. We just said just do another tune without a hot sample, and we'll do it. Now you're getting sorted for festival season coming up. What's yep. planned? Where are you headed? Um, oh, you don't know. You're I know we're sh- playing everywhere. So we're doing IB, we've got a residency in Ibiza every Tuesday. Um, we can't announce the full details of that because they've not announced it, but it'll be announced this week. Um, we're in Vegas quite a few times doing... Um, uh, what's that place called? <laughs> uh, the Cosmo. What, uh, Marquee. Oh, yeah, cool. There. And then um, loads of EDC festivals across America. Um, loads of festivals oh, everywhere. By like next week, we're in Tomorrowland in the Alps. Um, Tomorrowland in... If it's a big festival, we're there, basically, that's it. All and, I but, can think but is... But mainly, tonight, we're at Penthouse <laughs> at the Five, on the Palm. Exactly. Which is why the whole reason why we're here. <laughs> exactly. which... I was just about to get onto that, Mark. So, back in Dubai, performing live tonight, the Penthouse, Five Palm Jumeirah. Um, what treats are you going to dish out for sure? Well, Am we I... definitely have some shirts on. <laughs> I know we've let you down today, but tonight we'll be fully I'm involved. just for that. Yep. But uh, will we, can you expect us to hear a bit of Tango Wango? You've signed this with Ultra. Yeah. Will it be played tonight? Yeah, definitely. A lot of our new music will be playing. Just basically what we always play, just high energy house music, which will get everyone having a great party. Yes. I do hope indeed. As you know, the weekend starts now, Thursday. Yes. You're going to have to probably look at getting a new house. This wardrobe you'll be acquiring after post-festival yep. season. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to do an event actually where we give away our shirts because um, when you when you come in you get given a shirt because we've got so many of them and we just got to get rid of them out of the house. <laughs> I bet, it's overflowing. And I don't know though if they're to your wife's fancy, unfortunately. Well, uh, what I do is when usually they have um, laundry sales, not laundry sales, um, vintage sales and it, you buy them by the kilo, but they're always on Saturdays and I, I'm never in in the UK on a Saturday. So I sent my wife down and say, right, you go and buy every shirt there is mm. and I'll ask what it is. It's like, because you can get about 15 shirts is about a kilo of, which is 15 pounds. Which I'm not too sure that is in the AD money, but uh, it's not a lot anyway. I'm working Aussie lot. dollar. Yeah, it's not a lot anyway. So get a load of those and then she comes home, with, well, I get home, check them all out. There's loads of terrible ones and then they, they still end up in the corner of my room. So, They'll be giving away, giving away for free. I should have brought some out here, actually, to give them away, but oh, I didn't know. The black shirt will do, I suppose. <laughs> no, yeah. thank you so much, Mark. It's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you very much for having us. And remember, the penthouse tonight in Dubai at Five Palm Jumeirah. That's correct. Watch Salado firing up at the penthouse. Five Palm Jumeirah, be there tonight for Skyline Thursdays. And don't forget to check out their weekly show on Dance FM every Monday at 9pm.